Welcome to another video. In this video, we will create a box plot chart in Excel of 365. Now, Excel doesn't have chart template for the box plot, but we can create the box plot by doing the following several steps, which require some calculation, then creating a stacked column chart, then converting the stacked column chart into a box plot. So for this reason, I've picked the data set, I've picked three columns or three sets of data set because I'm going to be creating three box plots just to show you how they stack beside each other where you can compare them. But if you're creating a box plot for only one uh, data set, all you need is one data set and one column in each of the following two tables. So from the data set, the first step we're going to do is create the five point summary for the box plot, which are the minimum, first, second, third quartile, and the maximum. Then we're going to create over here the differences between these five point summary. So we're going to find the difference between the first quartile and the minimum, difference between second and first, third and second, max and third. And we're going to use this data over here to create the box plot. So let's start with finding the minimum and selecting the range. It's going to be A2 to A31. And the only thing we need to do is drag it all the way here. And you can see that it finds the minimum for B2 to B31 and minimum for C2 to C31. We're going to use the quartile function for the differences between these two and how to create quartile and percentile. Look for the video that uses the percentile function quartile. Here we're going to select the same range, A2 to A31. And I want the first quartile. I'm going to repeat the same thing. A2 to A31 and the second quartile, A2 to A31, third quartile. And finally the max function, also A2 to A31. And I have all the values that I need for the first column. I'm going to select them and drag them to find the values for the second and the third data set. Next step, we're going to go to the third table, and for the men, I'm just going to select this set here because I just want the value. Then for the first minus men, I'm going to select the first quartile minus the minimum. And I can repeat the same thing, or I can just drag. You will see here that it's F4 minus F3, which means second quartile minus second uh, the first f5 minus f4 third minus second and max minus third i'm going to select all of this drag them and you will have the other values that we need so now that we have all the data that we need especially the differences and it's already selected the range i'm going to go and create the stacked column chart from the column chart and you will see that we have the stacked column chart picking the five series as rows so before we change anything let's change this to box plot I'm going to remove the, that the legend over here we don't need it and then we're going to go and change the series so right click select data and the first thing we're going to do is switch row and column to make them as the column for the data set. Still, we don't have the title here, so I'm going to go to horizontal category axis and choose the header. And we have our chart. Now, yes, it doesn't look at all like a bar chart and that's the idea here is that it's not going to look like a bar chart we have to convert it to a box plot and to do that there are several steps that we need to do and these are the most important steps 
The first step is we're going to select the bottom part only of the bars. So make sure when you click, you don't select everything, just the bottom part. You see that it's just the bottom part that's selected. We're going to right click and say, I don't want anything here. Now you will see that there is no more bottom part. Okay, so the second step is to create the whisker line. We're going to select the top part, the top bars. First, we're going to do the same thing, remove the coloring. Then, we're going to go to the Add Chart Element and R Add the Error Bars. And you see that you have bars right now, but they are so tiny that we need to modify them. So let's click, double click on them, and you will see that you have several options here. The end style, how you want it. Let's say we don't want the cap. And for the top part, we're going to choose the minus direction, so it makes it go down. And we're going to make it 100% so we can see it completely. And you'll see that we still have our first whisker line. We're going to repeat the same steps with the bottom part. So we're going to select the bottom part. First, we're going to remove the coloring. No fill. And we're going to go and add the error bars. Now that we have the bars, we're going to repeat the same thing. We're going to double click on the bars. We're going to choose the minus, no cap, and the 100%. And by doing that, now we have our whisker lines for the box plot. The last step that we have to do is change this colors and make them look like a box plot with the lines. So in order to do that, we're going to select one of the parts here, right click. We're going to change the fill color. Let's choose, let's say, this color here. And we're going to choose the outline to be kind of darker color. Let's make it take a bit. And we're going to repeat the same thing over here. So we're going to choose the same color. Or you can just pick it if it's still there. And the same idea here. We choose this color. And the one point. And here we go. We have our box plot for all three data series. And then we can compare what do we have over here. So remember that this is the minimum point. This is the maximum point. And this is the first quartile over here. This is the second quartile of the median. And this is the third quartile. And this is the enter quartile range. And now you can compare the three data set, which one has a higher maximum or lower minimum, or where the 50% of the data resides for each one of them, and so on. So to create a box plot, we have to do all this work because Excel doesn't have a box plot chart, but we can convert the stacked column into a box plot and have the box plot the way we want. Of course, you can change the appearance of this chart similar to any other charts that we did in Excel, pie chart, bar chart, column chart, add whatever you want, remove whatever you want, change the appearance, and it's all there. Now that we have the box plot for all three data side by side, you realize that this is a vertical box plot. So if you're doing it for only one, and you want it to be a horizontal box plot, you have two options. Either one you start from the beginning 
choose the uh, stacked bar instead of the stacked column or after you've done the chart you can just go ahead and select the stack bar from here or of course you can right click change chart type and you choose the bar stack bar and here you go you have a horizontal box plot instead of the vertical one thank you for watching and look for other videos